Hi, I'm Kristen. Hey, I'm Scott. Hi, I'm Scott. Look, I'm Holden. And we are the, the Dean team. team. And from above us, you can tell where we are today. We are at the Warner Brothers studio making of Harry Potter in Leavesden. What do you think? Are y'all ready for an adventure? Let's, Let's go! Electric buses travel between the studio tour and Watford Junction train station, and it is free for all visitors with a valid ticket. Watford Junction train station was a little bit of a hike from our hotel, so we opted to rent a car and drive, and parking was free. When you arrive, you can get an audio tour. You can check your coats in the cloakroom, and then you also have to make sure that you grab your passport because these are things that you fill out throughout the day. Are you ready for this? As an alum, I am ready for this. What's in there, Holden? A dragon. There's a dragon ahead. Do you think that's life size? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Wait, now I feel it's bad so for detailed. Harry in the fourth movie when he's um, in the first test. This is so cool. They have the bat suit, the Joker costume worn by Heath Ledger. Wow. Eliza Doolittle, Wonder Woman, massive Christmas tree. Oh my goodness, Christmas at Hogwarts. When you come to the Warner Brothers Studio Tour London, you do have to book your time in advance. We opted for the 9 a.m. It was the first slot of the day, but we're gonna spend a little bit of time looking around the food areas. We're gonna grab some breakfast, and then we will head into the official tour. There's a massive Marauders map when you first walk in to the food hall. Lots of places to sit. Here are the prices for the ice cream, milkshake, hot chocolate, other hot drinks. They have the Weasley Jumpers as a marshmallow sandwich, trifle cupcake. How cute is this chocolate frog? Here we have the Hogwarts House present, pretzel fudge brownie, red velvet Christmas cupcake. There's a Christmas pudding, butterbeer profiteroles, and chocolate and hazelnut cookie. This is where they do the afternoon tea and that is very magical. Breakfast is served until 11.30 and there are a lot of different options. The light bites are all very reasonably priced. And then hot drinks over here as well. This is our kind of meal clock because it even has 11 Z's. It has the midnight feast. I mean, those are all the meals that you need. I wish we had Smell-O-Vision because that smells so good. They got the loaded breakfast muffin. We would have picked the butterbeer pancakes, but Skyla said that was too sweet for the morning. How cute is this? You can fill up your children's night bus so you get a sandwich, fruit, drink, and apple crisps in a night bus. The doors opened 30 minutes ago and there's already quite a long line for the tour entrance just since we ate breakfast. Oh my goodness, we have Hagrid. And Dumbledore McGonagall. It's always going to be the real one on this tour. It's got all the big rings and Harry's glasses. Bed. They're so small. Should you just go put on his shoes? I bet they'll fit. The original pair of glasses. Hogwarts in the Snow runs from November 11th through January 14th, so we're going to see Christmas trees in the Great Hall, and we're going to see a blanket of snow on a lot of the sets. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Warner Brothers Studio Tour. It's my pleasure to welcome you here. Are you ready to go in? <laughs> we're trying the night from the movie where he's holding We've got Christmas alcohol. trees. Now the Christmas trees also have garlands next to them. These garlands are actually from the original films. They've added some fresh ivy on top to spruce them up. Now speaking of the Christmas feast, on the tables we have lots and lots of delicious 
yummy foods, as shall see the Christmas puddings have lit on fire. Now the special effects department were able to do that and the way to explore behind the scenes of the most magical film series in the world. Have a very merry day everybody, thank you. It's all of the different houses, symbols that are holding the fire. The fire is crackling back there. There are snitches hidden everywhere and we just found our first one. Here's the map of everything we will experience. We start off in the Great Hall and then it is one way. Wow. In just over a month, 90 decorations transformed the Great Hall into a ballroom bedecked in icy silver. The cool special effect that they did over there was they lit the Christmas puddings on fire and because they had to be lit for a very long time, they're made out of concrete and steel, but they look like, you know, chocolate puddings that you, you know, light the brandy on. Check out this chocolate phoenix cake. Floors, hat, shoes, dress. Luna Lovegood, and she had a lot of input in what she wore. I loved her dresses. Oh, and Gilderoy Lockhart. Look at these shoes. All of the wigs, there's Tom Felton's Draco wig, when he was older, I believe, as an adult. Concept art. Oh, you know Lucius Malfoy's hair when you see it. The Bloody Baron. Look at this. The Weasleys. <laughs> Aunt Muriel. Ooh, Lunas. Rita Skeeters. This is so cool. It's how they distressed the clothes for Daniel as he got more and more bedraggled. And for Voldemort, see the color difference as the life was going out of him. Oh, to be one of these portraits. How amazing would that be? Who does not want to take a bath in the prefect's bathroom? This is mesmerizing. The leaky cauldron is quite massive. So where's Harry's bed? It says the boys' legs hung off the ends of the five foot nine long beds, but you couldn't tell on screen. Neville's over here practicing his dance moves. I'm finding the golden stitches because on every single test, there's three golden stitches to find. And so one is up by the door. You can barely see it. It's over to the left. It's an illusion. What do you think? Is there a boggart in there? This has everything, the Philosopher's Stone, the Deluminator, the Snitch, the Time Turner, Rita Skeeter's accessories, the Remembral, Omnioculars, oh, the Crystal Goblet that he drinks out of, and Slughorn's Hourglass. This tapestry is so massive. We have advanced potion making. I don't know how, but I think magic is moving this. Magic. Which way would you choose? Honestly, I could listen to Alan Rickman's voice all day long. We're getting our stamps. Just a random skull. And then we've got chestnuts. Very important skull. Oh yeah, chestnuts that are gonna be roasted on an open fire. It does look cozy in here. St. Mungo's Hospital Werewolf Wing is now closed. Oh, is that what the Daily Prophet's telling us?
the outfits from three are up there, yeah. Even in Gryffindor House, the tree's ornaments are skulls. Did you see that? I'm holding a pasty. <laughs> Is your mischief managed yet? No. Never. Never fully managed. What do you see when you look into it? Oh! They're all swirling around. Some of that water. <laughs> and here's all of his memories. They're all labeled so pristinely. Wow, he's got a lot of good memories, I bet. This is the back side of Dumbledore's office. Well, look what he has up there. Set decorators filled the hut with an abundance of cages, each containing peculiar real animals and items such as hairless cats, fruit bats, and ostrich eggs. This costume fits the frame of a 6'10 double. Here's Mad-Eye Moody's full glass. It shows the enemies. I don't have any behind me, that's a good sign. We've got the Nimbus 2001, the Nimbus 2000, and the Firebolt. Quidditch robes through the years definitely changed a lot and got cooler. There's the Skelligro. Ooh, Malfoy. And any favorite house? These magical trophies are from the Goblet of Fire. We're in line so that we can lift the broom. Gotta do it. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Wow. Yeah, South Carolina. Wow, you can view yes. All Harry Potter fans. Yeah, very much so. Very much yes. so. So, have you watched all Harry Potter films? Yep. Do you have your favorite character? Hagrid. Hagrid? You can see Hagrid later on, don't worry. And they can tell you how he was created, all right? Excellent. And what is your favorite film? Have you watched them all? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think, I feel like the first one. Very first one, Philosopher's Stone, when everything started. Excellent choice. So, come on, Hufflepuff man. Stand close, put your hand down, look at the cameras and say, up. Up. Beautiful. 10 points, catch, catch, let it go, let it go. And this one, yeah. Skyla. Skyla, lovely name, Skyla. So, you look, you look like Draco Malfoy, little sister. You know? <laughs> <laughs> if you have one. She loves Draco. I love Draco. He's my one of my, Voldemort and Draco, my favorite as well. <laughs> what is your favorite film? Um, Deathly Hallows Part 2. Oh, very dramatic. Beginning and end. Yes. Yes. Excellent choice. Well done. So, have you, do you like London? Yes. Yes? Enjoyed your trip? Beautiful. So, come on. You, we are the same house. Let's put your hand down and say nice and loud. Up. Up. Fantastic. Catch the broom. Excellent. We aren't able to film inside the little green screen area, but we wanted to tell you some of the prices. The kids had a bunch of fun. The line moved pretty quickly. It was 14 pounds for one photo, 20 pounds for two photos, or if you had the video package, then it ups it to about 40 pounds, and there's another 50 pound platinum package as well. It was fun to do and fun to watch the kids do, but... The two different sizes of Hagrid's motorbike. And then the kids basically just did that with the broom. This area shares some of the special effects shot on camera, and watching these mechanisms on the doors gives me a whole new appreciation for what they built for these films. As Kyla said, is this really how big it was? It is huge. The special effects department mechanized a ragged, antique steamer trunk with pulleys and electric motors to open and close every drawer and tiny compartment. Wow, yeah, you can see him in there. Poor Moody. The Ford Anglia, I think, is the only car I actually know the name of. 
and we're waiting in line to get a picture in Hagrid's area. Awesome. Holden, you are giant. You're chopping those carrots with your magic powers. I wish that that really worked at home. Are you ironing, Skyla? Mrs. Weasley is definitely the coolest mom with the coolest clock around. And I feel like if I was gonna live in any house, this is the one that you wanna be in. Ooh, like wax on, wax off motion. Yeah. Now we're getting into the dark arts. Ooh. The hand of glory. One of the coolest things at Universal Studios is that you can go to see the vanishing cabinet in Borgen and Burks and you can hear the bird fluttering inside. This is truly one of the scariest scenes in any movie. They even give you the seating chart so you know who goes where. Poor Draco. Gosh. Look at it. Isn't that so cool? Harry Potter. Harry Potter. You know, you have to say it like he does. Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. <laughs> Thank you so much. The Black family and their tapestry is huge. The scale of it. They have the prophecy orbs over there. Wow. You can see Umbridge wearing Slytherin's locket in one of these outfits. Along with the director, David Yates, I created and developed the physical language for fighting with the wand. Start with your knees bent, body nice and straight. Bring the arm above the head with a clean curve. The wand aimed directly at the enemy. Bring the wand forward of the head and whip it back. Forward like that, a little flourish on the end, okay? Fabulous. So this one is basically like whisking, rolling, right okay? So we're in move number two, which is this one here. We we'll take our left arm and our left leg, and they're going to come to the front here. Into move number two. Back into move number one. Move number three. Move number one. Number three. Move number one. Move number three. Move number two. Move number one. Move number two. Move number one. Move number three. Move number one. Move number two. Holden's been asking this whole time, can we go to the Forbidden Forest? Guess what? We're going. We can go now. What do you do? You can oh, you make it day or night. night. What do you want it to be? Night. Creepy. Ooh, creepier. From Hallows Part 2, Skyla's favorite movie. <laughs> Go ahead and bow to him. Oh, wait. He seems a little skeptical of you all, to be honest. Okay, I think he likes you all now. That's good. Yeah, I'm going this way. It's getting really dark in the Forbidden Forest. No, you guys are going that way. We're, We're going to stay together. I have so much power. Thunder, lightning, very, very frightening. Ooh, you guys, look.
is Arania Exame. Can you say Arania? Arania. Arania. Fabulous, very confident. Exame. Exame. Put it together. Arania Exame. Arania, Arania Exame. Excellent. So you come over here, you're going to point at him. I'm going to count you in. I'll do it with you. So we have to have really clear, big voices so he knows he has to go away. Three, two, one. Arania Exame. <laughs> Just check behind you. Look, check they're all going away. Oh, wow! Yeah. You really are a witch and a wizard. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Luna Lovegood's trunk. Hermione Granger. Colin Freebies and Ginny yeah. Weasley's. Wait, what type of animal does Ginny have? Ginny has a pygmy puff. What did you just get? A Hogwarts Christmas card that you get to decorate and enter into a contest. That is so cool. Holden's decorating. In this area, we get to take pictures at platform nine and three quarters and with the Hogwarts Express. Thank you. Woo! It is steaming. Okay. Go for it, Dad. It's also a ventriloquist. And it can turn its head the full way around. That's really cool. And it is only thirty dollars. Pounds. Thirty pounds. And the railway shop says new arrivals and not available in the main shop. So if you want something, you have to get it here. This is the authentic Hogwarts Express carriage used for over ten years of filming. It's too cold in this house. It's too cold. I can't see. Oh, we're going to have to lift you up. Here. This is from Goblet of Fire, my favorite. Well, the minute is still letting you walk around free, possibly. Or going to enjoy it while you can. I like that little fellow in Azkaban with your name on it. Quite the minute is Exploding bonbon. Half-Blood Prince. Why does Half-Blood Prince sound so familiar to me, Scott? Never again. What did we do? We went to the premiere of it, and all night long you heard the replay of the sound. Who's the Half-Blood Prince? Yeah. Oh, um, Ron plus... Ron plus Lavender. Lavender. They ate a lot of candy. Anything from the trolley. Their last day outfits. My goodness. Highly recommend doing this experience, even if you don't buy the video, which we did not. It's just so cool to feel like you are riding on the Hogwarts Express and you go through different things, like a Dementor's coming at you, Chocolate Frog jumps out at the window. What did you think of our train ride? It was scary. Because the Dementor came right at you. It was like right at me and then he screamed and I felt, and he and like yelled and then I- He screamed, you screamed. He went ah and I went ah. We all screamed. Now let's go get some butterbeer ice cream. This is one of the most amazing accomplishments of the movies in my opinion, is all of these amazing pieces of artwork and graphics that were made from the books to the letters, to the Ministry of Magic, stationery, to the newspapers, the book covers, the Marauder's Map. We have Tales of Beetle the Bard. We have Rita Skeeter's The Life and Lies of Albus Dumbledore. All of the labels for pumpkin juice and the birdie bots, every flavor beans, cauldron cakes. Also all of the Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. There's You Know Poo, Electric Shock Shake, Sticky Trainers. Here's an overview of the menu. There's not really anything that is standing out to us. It's kind of typical American food but it is kind of those theme park prices you would expect. There is a long line for food, but if you only want to get butterbeer, there is a line dedicated just to that. So skip the food line and head over to the butterbeer line. You do have to have cash. We got the butterbeer and the ice cream. Nightmare Before Christmas thing. Ooh, what do you think? Better than Universal, even though I haven't even been there. <laughs> Seven pound fifty and eight pound, and you get to keep the souvenir cups, which are amazing. Very nice and sturdy. Do you like the butterbeer more or the ice cream more? Butterbeer. I think I'm gonna say now that I've tried butterbeer alone, butterbeer. So our secret trick is that you put the ice cream inside of the butterbeer and make your own float. That is magic right there. It's basically just. Cold. 
You think it tastes like Coca-Cola? No, I just said it's basically Coke. It's Coke mixed with Fanta. There's a spot to rinse your butterbeer. The next leg of the tour is outdoors. It is the only area that will be outside. Here we actually get to step into the Dursley's house on Privet Drive. We get to check out the night bus. There's the Hogwarts Bridge. It's so slippy. They say slippy instead of slippery. Last time we were here, we were allowed to walk on the bridge, but that is not possible today. I'm not sure if that's how it always is. The model of the borough, the best house. This is so cool. We get to actually walk through Harry's house on Privet Drive, which is amazing. Oh, I love how their family photo, it's a uh, Dursley's blinking on the mantle. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I don't know. Maybe not. Don't do it. Yeah, Don't do it. <laughs> They've even got Dudley on the floor. Oh my gosh, all of Dudley's photos over there. Epic. Aunt Marge. Bless her. Down to the gluttony. Bless Dobby. Look how cute he is. of the greenhouse is amazing. So many dragons. There's a line over there for Hagrid's bike. Got it? Sit on your knees if you can, Holden. We can't see you, exactly. Oh, Holden's out, and he's back in. I'm gonna get, get three, okay? Okay. One. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do one minute scouting time. Okay. Two. Go ahead. Got it. Okay, and. Three. That's a good shot. I'm doing that. Wait, is a little guy in there? I don't know. Mom, here. You're doing the music, Holden? We have the whole atmosphere, the whole environment. What is Stan gonna say? <clears throat> Welcome to the night bus. Emergency transport for the stranded witch or wizard. wizard. My name is Stan Shunpike and I will be your conductor for this. Yeah, they have the beds. Do you see the chandelier too? Yeah. And now we're continuing the tour. The Creature Shop is amazing because you get to see makeup effects and how they do all of the different things. We just saw these, like, live and in person. We get to see Luna Lovegood's amazing hat that she wore to the Quidditch match. You get to see Fenrir Greyback and how they made Hagrid and the Monster Book of Monsters, the Owls. You even get to see the Mer people. Harry Potter films also called for creations that slithered, flew, galloped, wrinkled, squirmed, and bored. Watch this. Like the Monster Book of Monsters, I'm gonna nibble off your fingers. Here we see Lupin's transformation into the werewolf, Cornish Pixies from Gilderoy Lockhart's classroom that caused all the havoc. You ugly! Oh, dang it, free throw! <laughs> He's like, excuse me? What did you call me? The Monster Book of Monsters. Ooh! 
please don't open. You can also pretend that you're Dobby and see how they went through the different phases of making him move. The Thestrals are one of our favorite magical creatures. We also have the Hungarian Horntail from Goblet of Fire. Ooh, and some Dementors too. Hagrid's brother Groppy is up there. Here are the bones of the Basilisk. Ooh, and the Basilisk himself, and then Aragog right above us. I learned that some of the time Hagrid's head was actually a real life looking robot head. It was an animatronic head that they would fit on him. It was like a mask, but they would put it on him sometimes to make his head look bigger than others. I also learned that the monster because of monsters was a really hard thing to make because they had to pack all the engineering into one tiny little thing this bit bigger than this. A1 looks the scariest with them big buck teeth. This one's the least scariest, and then this one's the most scariest. I think it's the teeth that scare you all. These are the continuity binders that they use to make sure that everyone looked the same throughout the whole shoot. I feel like if that was Draco as a goblin, and then if that was Harry as a goblin. <laughs> It moves so well. It's sort of silicon. Just moves like skin. Fan lines, squint, put your tongue out. Naughty goblin. It's funny because Holden uses that got to be for his mohawk when he does one. Yeah. Each costume was handmade and individually styled to match the specific features and personality of each actor, right down to matching the color of the pinstripes to the color of their eyes. The many faces of Warwick Davis the MVP of the Harry Potter series. It's amazing getting to see the models for every single part of Gringotts that was throughout the various movies from the Lestrange vault to where the dragon busts through. It makes you realize how much planning had to go into each film where we see these different parts of Gringotts. There's the invisibility cloak, that's amazing. We did not get to see this last time we were here. I am blown away. This is so cool. They had to restyle the vault cart for Hallows Part 2 because there was an exciting thing happening on it. There's the Philosopher's Stone. Very heavily guarded. Oh my gosh, how cool is this? What? The rockwork of the caverns was modeled on granite and limestone and made to look as if it was hewn out of the rock by the goblins themselves. Skyla has been looking for snitches everywhere and there's one in here and it has got to be hard to find. There's so much to look at. So we're saying that Bellatrix Lestrange was loaded. Here's the mold for Helga Hufflepuff's cup. And then here is the actual Hufflepuff cup. It does work. <laughs> when you turn around, you see Gringotts Bank. Wiseacre's Wizarding Equipment is next to Florian Fortescue's Ice Cream. 
I asked the best kind of hidden thing here and they told me that at the apothecary there's a boot hanging up because in England Boots is like one of the most famous pharmacies. So that's a little nod to Boots. Got to check out the Owl Emporium, of course. Ollivanders, makers of fine wands since 382 BC. Flourish and Blots is advertising Gilderoy Lockhart's book, Magical Me. The coolest shop on the block is definitely Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, of course. Doesn't that just make you want a puking pastel? Yeah. <laughs> they do have pretty sharp suits, I will say. I also love that above the door it says shenanigans for all. Oh, there's umbrage going on the tightrope. I will have order. It's amazing the attention to detail because obviously the vest, the shirt, and the tie is different, but the pinstripe is like a thinner pinstripe than that one. There's a bigger gap on it for another difference. So they're them. identical, but not fully identical. The golden snitch is going above quality Quidditch supplies. And it looks like there's a Nimbus in the window. The scissors move on Madame Malikin's school and formal wear. Advertising the latest school robes. The magical menagerie has everything you need. You can get pygmy puffs and nifflers, fang brushes and talon clippers. Oh, they're different? I like this. So this one's shredded paper. This one's polymer. This that one looks paper. the most. It looks the <laughs> most, I think, like snow. This one's good, too. It feels Is it nice and warm? Kind of. <laughs> Do you want to see under it? So this is just water vapor. So if I lift that up, there's just a water oh. tank underneath it oh, wow. with an orange light. That's, so really that's how they would have done it in the film, so that it wasn't hot. Got our last stamp presented in dramatic style. This room is awesome because all of these wands have the names of the people who are involved in the filmmaking process. Be hard to spot Dana Radcliffe in all of this. Oh wait, I got it. We had the absolute best time. Scott and I were here four years ago and so much has changed. They have added so many amazing experiences. So we also had a lot of jaw dropping moments. The kids loved it so much. Holden did say it's kind of like a museum and I said it is in a sense, but it is such a celebration of filmmaking. Even if you don't love Harry Potter, but you just love cinema, it's just such a great experience. To give you an idea of how long you want to take to be here, we spent six hours here. Granted, we had a short breakfast, but we didn't even stop for a full lunch or anything. So plan accordingly. The lines were very crowded to do things like where you get to say up with the broom or you get to go on the Hogwarts Express or even just for a photo op, there were very long lines. So bear that in mind. The gift shop was pandemonium. There are so many rooms with everything you can think of. We did get some chocolate frogs, of course, and some other goodies for the kids. The kids are gonna want everything when you come here. If you're an adult Harry Potter lover like me, you're gonna want everything too. We are a Harry Potter loving family. Scott and I have done everything from go to a premiere where we slept outside and we got to take a picture with Tom Felton and some of the other cast members. We have been to Universal Studios. We've seen Cursed Child on Broadway a couple of times. We took the kids a little while back. We visited some of the filming locations throughout England. This is an amazing experience just because of the love and detail put into everything. Highly recommend for any Harry Potter lover. If you're coming anywhere near London, make a stop at Leavesden. This vlog is part of an epic 12 day trip through England and France. So I will put a playlist to everything that we've been doing here. Please check those out as well. Thank you so much for coming along with us. We hope you had a magical day just like we did and we'll see you soon. Make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, keep the adventuring.